Great indeed are your works, O Lord, now and evermore. Great indeed are your works, O Lord, now and evermore. The universe, night and day, tells of all your wonder. You are alive and alive. So Lord, now and evermore, great indeed are your works, O Lord, now and evermore. Dear brothers and sisters, the Franciscan Fathers in India offer this Mass for the following intentions. For the repose of the soul of Edward Chandra Babu offered by family members, Edward Chandra Babu offered by Mary Celine Chandra Babu, for the soul of D.R. E. Raja Pinero, for the souls of two Korean twin deaths offered by J. Raj and Phoenix, and for the soul of Alison Powell offered by Anthony Delphine Powell, for the soul of Jesse Bayer, and for the soul of ordination remembrance of Father Stephen Bernard SDB offered by family members. As Thanksgiving Mass on the birthday of our brother Henry, YFM, and as Thanksgiving Mass offered on the birthday of Sean Dubier. And as special intention offered for the good health of Romero Lobo. Let us begin this celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, once again the Lord invited us this morning to feel that His mercy and love is always nourishing, cherishing with the children. And as the readings of the day invite us to reflect about, to increase our faith in God and also all his endeavors that is towards us. And coming together as God's family, ask the Lord for pardon and strength for all our failures and shortcomings and become worthy participants. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call us sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Amos, chapter 7, verses from 10 to 17. Amaziah, the priest of Bethel, 
sent to Jeroboam, king of Israel, saying, Amos has conspired against you in the midst of the house of Israel. The land is not able to bear all his words. For thus Amos has said, Jeroboam shall die by the sword, and Israel must go into exile away from his land. And Amaziah said to Amos, O seer, go, flee away to the land of Judah, and eat bread there, and prophesy there. But never again prophesy at Bethel, for it is the king's sanctuary, and it is a temple of the kingdom. Then Amos answered Amaziah, I am no prophet, nor a prophet's son. But I am a herdsman and a dresser of sycamore trees, and the Lord took me from following the flock, and the Lord said to me, Go prophesy to my people Israel. Now, therefore, hear the word of the Lord. You say, Do not prophesy against Israel, and do not preach against the house of Isaac. Therefore, thus says the Lord, Your wife shall be a harlot in the city, and your sons and your daughters shall fall by the sword, and your land shall be parceled out by line. You yourself shall die in an unclean land, and Israel shall surely go into exile away from its land. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The decrees of the Lord are truth, and all of them just. The decrees of the Lord are truth, and, and all of them just. just. The law of the Lord is perfect, it revives the soul. The rule of the Lord is to be trusted, it gives wisdom to the simple. Our response? The, the decrees of the Lord are truth, and, and all, all of them just. The precepts of the Lord are right, they gladden the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, it gives light to the eyes. Our response? The, the decrees of the Lord are truth, and, and all of them just. The fear of the Lord is holy, abiding forever. The decrees of the Lord are truth, and all of them just. Our response? The, the decrees of the Lord are truth, and all of them just. They are more to be desired than gold, than the purest of gold, and sweeter are they than honey, that any from the comb. Our response? The decrees of the Lord are truth, and, and all, all of them just. just. Sing alleluia to the Lord. Alleluia to the Lord. Sing alleluia to the Lord. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our heart so that we may know the hope to which he has called us. Sing alleluia to the Lord. be with you and with your spirit. 
reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 9, verses 1 to 8. Getting into a boat, Jesus crossed over and came to his own city, Capernaum. And behold, they brought to him a paralytic lying on his bed. And when Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Take heart, my son, your sins are forgiven. And behold, some of the scribes said to themselves, This man is blaspheming. But Jesus, knowing their thoughts, said, why do you think evil in your hearts? For which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Rise and walk. But that you may know, that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He then said to the paralytic, Rise, take up your bed, and go home. And he rose and went home. When the crowd saw it, they were afraid, and they glorified God, who had given such authority to men. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord. All things work together for good for those who love God. St. Paul's letter to Romans, chapter 8, verse 28. All things work together for good for those who love God. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, all of us are driven by two systems. They are ego-mind system and secondly, spirit-being system. The ego-mind system consists of division. Spirit-being system consists of unity. And these two systems are being found in today's liturgy or the readings of the day. If you see the ego-mind system, which is found in the people or the king, Jeroboam and the priest, Amaziah. King Jeroboam tried to allow the people to commit sin by worshipping the idols, then God who is true and the author of creation. Jeroboam lost his patience, therefore he wanted to work against God and he allowed the people of Israel to commit sin against God. And the priest Amaziah, where prophet Amos goes and prophesies from the mouth as mouthpiece of God, and he brings some kind of change, but these two would not allow key prophet Amos to work as spokesperson of God. And that's what we see, brothers and sisters, the ego and the pride in the king Jeroboam and Amaziah. And deep down, they committed a sin. Because the pride and ego all the time play in our hearts and minds, brothers and sisters, to bring a division, to bring forth kind of divisive or the division to live our lives. The same thing happened in the gospel of the day. The Pharisees, seeing the Jesus who demonstrates the author of not only demonstrating the author of uh, chasing over the devils, but also the author of bringing forgiveness to those who plead him. And the Pharisees try to say, he is possessing, or is, this is a man of blaspheming, they call him. All the pride and ego of the Pharisees also brought some kind of destruction for themselves as well. But then, dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, the second type of system that we are all the time busy, driven by, is spirit-being system. And today we have beautiful 
miracle happening in today's gospel four men being brought a paralytic man and jesus appreciates these four men because they have faith then the paralytic man and the gospel says this paralytic man does not show any faith but these four men fill spirit fill persons brought the person to jesus for a healing brothers and sisters and here jesus does not tell the paralytic man be healed neither he tells rise and walk he simply tells him take your heart my son your sins are forgiven jesus here heals first the spiritual ailment not the physical ailment but the four men brought to the paralytic man for the physical ailment but then jesus first and foremost heals this paralytic man of spiritual ailment then the physical ailment brothers and sisters through our baptism we are brought by our parents and god parents to the baptismal font here the paralytic man is brought by four men who were with faith so faith is an independent aspect here even in today's world we are driven by this faith of the others therefore people ask us to pray for the others our own faith is not enough our faith is all the time interdependent on on the others therefore they ask us to pray for the others and we pray for the other people because faith is not the independent element over here faith is the interdependent therefore till the end we are asked to pray for one another and here these four men come forward dear brothers and sisters to pray for this paralytic man to be healed and jesus appreciates and therefore today we are driven by not only two systems brothers and sisters we are also driven by from the miracle of this paralytic man getting healed first and foremost this paralytic man was forgiven secondly he was healed thirdly he was enlisted and fourthly he was accepted and even we when we come to the lord with faith our spirit being persons when you come to the lord we need to be forgiven we need to be healed and thirdly we need to be enlisted that means we are called after healing to serve the others fourthly we need to be accepted by the others as well and therefore this brings out the most of our relationship with god and today's gospel also portrays that jesus is the embodiment of god the embodiment of god is nothing but to restore us those who are lost those who are gone astray to save us those who are not able to save by themselves and thirdly we are called once again to to be driven by the faith that we have within us dear brothers and sisters as we partake in this liturgy let us feel that we are all the time driven by spirit being people because of our faith that we are all the time nourishing and cherishing and today as you partake in this special liturgy of the miraculous event that is being taking place let us remember that we need to forgive the other people the forgiveness is something extraordinary so that we live our life in a worthy way and there is a chinese proverb saying if you fail to forgive the other you are digging grave for yourself and for the other as well so that forgiveness is so much appreciated by jesus here in the gospel through the miracle that we need to be forgiven and also to forgive the others to walk as a person who is filled with the spirit amen Novena to St Sebastian 
the lord is the strength of his people the saving refuge of his anointed save your people o lord and bless your inheritance hear o lord the sound of our call be our helper and do not forsake us o god our savior though we walk in distress you preserve us o lord your right hand saves us our help is in the name of the lord who made heaven and earth let us pray to god our father the source and author of all holiness who has opened the way to salvation for us in jesus christ through his saints lord, lord hear our prayer as we honor you in saint sebastian father free our politicians and leaders from the greed for power and wealth and fill them with the spirit of love and service of the people Lord hear our prayer as we honor you in Saint Sebastian have mercy on those who labor under the burden of poverty drought sickness old age and inspire your people to work for their relief Lord hear our prayer as we honor you in Saint Sebastian heal the sick and depressed let the lonely know the comfort of your love assist all in need of your mercy lord hear our prayer as we honor you in saint sebastian grant that our brothers and sisters who have died now rest in peace may share in your eternal life comfort us who remain in this life and who mourn their passing lord hear our prayer as we honor you in saint sebastian let us pray father your son accepted the sufferings to teach the virtue of patience in human illness hear the prayers we offer through your martyr saint sebastian for our sick brothers and sisters may all who suffered pain illness and disease realize that they are chosen to be saints and know that they are joined to christ in his sufferings for the salvation of the world grant this prayer of ours to the intercession of your martyr saint sebastian and in the powerful name of your son jesus christ our lord amen, amen. we break this bread in the body of Christ we break this bread, this bread to share in the body of Christ though we are many we are one body because we all share we all share in one bread though we are many we are one body because we all share we all share in one bread we break this cup to share in the body of Christ we drink this cup to share in the body of Christ though we are many we are one body we are one body because we all share we all share in one cup though we are many we are one body because we all share we all share in one Dear brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty may the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church O God who graciously accomplish the effects of your mysteries good on to be pray that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts through Christ our Lord amen the lord be with you and 
with your spirit, lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy through your beloved son Jesus Christ your word through whom you made all things whom you sent as our savior and redeemer incarnate by the holy spirit and born of the virgin fulfilling your will and gaining for the holy people he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection and so with all angels and saints we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and turned willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it. and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks gave the chalice to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith when we eat this bread We proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord. the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that we are held as worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope and george antony sami archbishop all the religious and the clergy remember also brothers and sisters we have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with the blessed saint joseph her spouse and all the saints francis anthony sebastian who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs eternal life and may praise and glorify you 
through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form my divine teaching, let us dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil and graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, Lord, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you more than anything in this world, and I hunger to receive you sacramentally, but since I cannot receive communion at this moment, feed my soul at least spiritually. I unite myself wholly to you now, as I do when I actually receive you in Holy Communion. Never let me drift away from you. Amen. Amen. Prayer to St. Sebastian. O Holy St. Sebastian, we come to invoke your help confident of experiencing your goodness and power, the consolation of many people, pray for us to the Father of mercies and speak to him in our name that we may obtain the particular graces we need. True disciple of Jesus Christ, help us to imitate your zeal and fortitude, put into our hearts the flame of your love that we may love our merciful Father in heaven and our neighbor as ourselves. Pray that we may fulfill the will of our heavenly Father and live the way Jesus shows us in the Gospels. Be a guide for us this day, that we may recognize the opportunities God gives us to be 
selfless and not selfish and to suffer something for Christ's sake. Assist us in keeping the promise we made at our baptism. Help us to obtain the grace to walk in the light of faith by the way we live so that we may live the gospel of Christ and grow with you in his love. Amen. Amen. St. Sebastian, glorious martyr of Christ and unfailing hope of the sick, pray, pray for, for us to the Son of God. God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us pray. O Heavenly Father, we beg you through our Lord Jesus Christ, who learned obedience in the school of suffering, to receive our prayers and offerings, and through him to give us the grace to be always obedient to your will, to bear patiently the sufferings of this life, and come to experience the bliss. He promises to those who are faithful to him. This we ask of you, who are our protector forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Saint Sebastian, patron saint of our church, many have received your healing, God's loving grace. Dear Saint Sebastian, show us how to trust in God, how to love our fellow brothers. And to care for all O oh, sacrament most holy O oh, sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving Prayer to St. Sebastian in time of pandemic corona. 
O Saint Sebastian, faithful soldier of our eternal King, you remained courageous during the challenging times because you recognized the redemptive power in the suffering, death, and resurrection of Jesus. You endured the pains of arrows that pierced your body because you had already been pierced by the sword of God's word into your soul. Thus, following our Lord Jesus Christ, you healed all people who have been suffering physically and mentally through plagues and pestilence. We have heard many testimonies of healing from people around the world, and we know in our own history that you have protected and healed people from black death and other pandemic diseases and restored them back to their normal lives with the nature, with their neighbors, and with our merciful Father. O true disciple of our divine physician, look upon your devotees who are afflicted heavily by the deadly virus of Corona. We have been deprived of many people's lives and relations, being isolated from each other, we have become weak and vulnerable, yet like you, we dare to take refuge in the Lord rather than to trust in the power of this world, because it is God alone who is the author and perfecter of our lives. O holy martyr of our Christian faith, we remember gratefully all the generous and courageous people who have risked their lives to take care of the victims of this contagious virus. We ask you to bless them with good health. We request you to strengthen our faith and regulate our breath. Restore our sight to see the image of God in all creation. Purify our love that we love and respect our neighbors with dignity and honor and give us a sincerity of heart to stretch ourselves in solidarity with each other as Jesus did to manifest the kingdom of God in our midst, where he lives and reigns with the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Saint Sebastian, glorious martyr of Christ and unfailing hope of the afflicted, Grant us good health to serve our God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of the womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us pray. Hear us, O God, our Saviour, and by the powerful intercession of St. Sebastian, deliver us from the present affliction and fear of the pandemic virus corona. Merciful Father, graciously listen to our prayers and heal our infirmities of body and soul, so that knowing your forgiveness, we may ever rejoice in your saving help. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord bless us. May he protect us from all evil and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please join as we recite Psalm 91. You who live in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, will say to the Lord, My refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust, for he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence, he will cover you with his pinions.
and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night or the arrow that flies by day or the pestilence that stalks in darkness or the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked because you have made the Lord your refuge, the Most High your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, no scourge come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, so that you will not dash your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder, the young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Those who love me, I will deliver. I will protect those who know my name. When they call to me, I will answer them. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue them and honor them. With long life, I will satisfy them and show them my salvation. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Mary, our mother, pray for us. Saint Anthony, pray for us. Saint Sebastian, our patron, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.